Let's talk about open certs. If you have graduated from a local institute of higher learning in recent years, you'll be familiar with open certs. Developed by GovTech Singapore, it's an open source platform which education institutes can adopt for issuing their certificates and transcripts. And it's built on the Ethereum blockchain network. So yes, there's more to Ethereum than just speculating on the price of the cryptocurrency. So the advantage of using blockchain in this instance is that it significantly reduces the barrier to entry of publishing cryptographically protected educational credentials as compared to using proprietary software which can be costly. There is also no need to run or maintain services to verify open certs. And since it's on the blockchain, the records are immutable. That's tech jargon to say that making changes is very difficult without collusion. Any modifications made to the file will cause the verification to fail on the blockchain and the certificate or transcript document will show up as having been tampered with. So how does the existence of open certs impact universities and other institutes of higher education in Singapore? Well, first of all, your admissions team should be made aware of this new technology and actually have the link to the open source website to do verification and know what an open source document looks like. Secondly, your processes might need to be changed to accommodate the fact that printing the certificate discards all cryptographic protections built into the open certs, which means printed certificates cannot be considered authentic. This second part is especially important because traditionally, admissions teams do a verification of certificates by physically viewing the originals, making copies, and making an indication that it's a certified true copy. But if your admissions team is telling prospective students to provide printed copies of their certificates or transcript, it makes your institution look very technologically backwards and may even reduce enrollments if said prospective student was trying to enroll into a tech-related program with your institution. 